This is the k sound. Keep watching to find out how it's pronounced in British English. Hi everybody and welcome back to Lean English. I'm Ed and I'm here to help you achieve your pronunciation goals. Before we start, remember to like this video if you find it useful and subscribe for more British English pronunciation lessons in the future. Now, let's look at the k sound in a bit more detail. Do you remember the g sound which we looked at a couple of weeks ago? The k sound is produced in a similar way. So first produce the g sound. Now, do it again, but this time whisper it. K. K. Well done. You just produced the k sound. This sound is produced by building up air pressure between the tongue and the back of the mouth and releasing it explosively. But in contrast to the g sound, we don't use our voice. The back of the mouth is called the velum and this gives the sound its technical name, the voiceless velar plosive. Obviously, in real conversation, we don't produce the g sound first, but you can use this trick to find the correct mouth position. So try and remember the mouth position and produce the sound again. K, k. Now, look at these words. Can you identify the k sound? Listen and see if you can hear it. Care, kiss, occur, knee, key, ache, next, luck. The k sound is usually spelt with the letters C or K but it can also be spelt with the letters X or Q in some words. Be careful because the letter K doesn't always produce the K sound and it may be silent in some words such as knee. The letter K is usually silent when it appears before the letter N at the beginning of words such as knife, no, night, knock. Now let's practice. Listen and repeat after me. Bare knuckle boxing. An excellent technique. A cure for stomach ache. The taxi got a parking ticket. The accountant counts quickly. The k sound is part of a group of sounds called stops, which all produce sound by blocking and releasing air in the mouth. English has six stop sounds. K, g, t, d and b. When two stop sounds come together, they overlap, which means the first sound isn't released and it blends with the second sound in words and phrases such as cocktail, blackboard, back door, stop calling. This makes words and phrases easier to pronounce and helps our speech to flow more smoothly. So avoid releasing the first stop in stop sequences. Well, that's the end of the lesson, but now it's your turn. Can you think of any more words that contain the silent letter K? Let me know in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching, goodbye.